This Saturday, Greater Lafayette will be putting on its dancing shoes. A young group of dancers have been practicing all summer for their half-hour performance during Dancing in the Streets. Tiffany Dismore has more on the Golden Steps performance team. I just think it's really fun and... I just like to jump around and it's just fun. <laughs> These young dancers have been practicing at least twice a week all summer to get ready for their Dancing in the Streets performance. It does take a lot of practice, definitely, but when you're having fun, like that doesn't really matter. We set goals every week, basically, and so it takes a lot of patience just to, to be able to say, okay, this week we hope to accomplish these goals. During the dance team's half hour performance, you can see a little bit of everything. There's hip hop, jazz, palm, dance twirl, so like baton. And I also have the honor of doing a ballet solo. You'll see a lot of happy faces, um, strong motions, and girls that love to dance. They make it look easy, but it isn't. Coordinating this eight-minute routine they'll do in the beginning of their Dancing in the Streets performance is complicated, and it takes a little bit of math. Counts are like the beats in a song. So like if you have a da, 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 that'd be like one, two, three, four. So when we count five, six, seven, eight, when we hit eight, that means to like turn around. But all the sweat and hard work pays off when the routine comes together. One of the most rewarding parts is to see how it is developing and the formation changes and the eight minute production that we have is a lot of entrances and exits and one team on and another team off. Tiffany Dismore, News Channel 18.